Good morning. Hi, Kathy. What the... Uh, morning? This is... Wow, this is quite the surprise. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a sec outside, alone? Okie dokie, if your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure. You go ahead, children. I'll be right here if you need me. Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday, then. Ugh, I hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First off, there's a high number of missing persons report. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Huh. That's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous, over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. So, I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Yay! Oh, let's do it! You know that's a sin, right? Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? You did. Every time you came here. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. What do you know about the man in red? No, that's not. What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? No. What can you tell me about the black hats? No.
Do you know what happened to my grandfather in 81? No, that's not... Was Lily Myers the chronicler? A drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the Great Threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. What happened to you, Jimmy? I'm not. I'm six feet under, looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions, touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. You mean the Black Hats? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know m Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? It's complicated. The last time we met was... ugly. Looking away won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. What happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh. Poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness, the betrayals, the limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? Who? The man in red. Someone else, too. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you, too. What did? Meeting the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You mean this? Oh, yes. They felt so warm, so comfortable, luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line, the thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? The Cradle of Obscurity. The Alpha to our Omega. The distorted mirror. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. 
Is the Church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child, our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Liz! I need more than that, Jimmy. <gasps> Liz, help! I need to find Eileen. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. Nothing unusual, just a... Found a large old key in here. Hey, what are you doing in here? Cut the bullcrap! Where is she? Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking about? Red-haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite necessary. Breaking and entering, are we? You don't understand. My friend has been kidnapped. Funny story. Hands behind your back. Now! Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. You better hope that Father Price doesn't press charges. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. You are such a fucking prick. Enjoy your little vacation. I know I will. Well, this blows. And I smell like goober. Fan-fucking-tastic. I need to get out of here. Who knows what that freak is doing to Eileen right now? Can't reach it. Okay, now what? Hmm, worth a shot. Oops! These paper clips might be useful. Okay, let's see if I still got it. Not perfect, but they should get the job done. I'm so good. Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church, too. Huh? Hopes in jar. An inkier heart. What the hell? It's old and rusty. 
There's something inscribed starting with P-R. bike was still where I left it. I did what you asked, Father, but something is different about this one. It's not taking like it should. She may be protected. Yes, we'll just have to wait and see. More souls, then. Yes, they all deserve to bask in the glory of God. Hey, what's that? Eat this! Eileen? Snap out of it! No, God, it's happening again, just like it did with Grandpa. What did he do to you? Let's get these ropes off of you. That should do it. That combination makes no sense. That action doesn't seem productive to me. I don't think that will help her. Wake up, E. He had a key on him. A small key with a tag attached, labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. All right, we'll take it from here. Should we bring, what's her name, to the clinic? Eileen, and no, I'll take care of her. Please, just drop us off at Grandma's. All right, then, but don't think you're off the hook for that stunt you pulled at the station. Considering the circumstances, I'm going to refrain from hauling your ass back to that cell. But you better not leave town until we've sorted all this out, or you can look forward to a statewide APB. Got it? That's more than fair, Sheriff. Thanks. Good. Come by the station when you've dropped off your friend. You'll need to take your statement. I will. It's my fault this has happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there, find out what he knows, and get to the bottom of this. It's too late for Joseph, but maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not gonna wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. These should come in handy when I need... Okay, there's a place in town.
it's a small key, fairly modern design. Storage A5. Where is it? I guess he felt compelled to tell the world how hard he was looking for something. Lunatic. He must not have wanted anyone to learn the secrets of these paintings. I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. This might come in handy. Doesn't fit. Must be for a different unit. Aha! Empty. Found a tape in there. There's also something else. A custody appeal form. For me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. He... He tried to get me back from my mom. Right to the very end. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Kathy. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. Nothing useful. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source. By severing the link, perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red, urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. Anybody home? Guess not. Locked.
sorry, Sue. A hidden picture. Oh my god, that's Nathan. He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or or saw it. Nathan is drowned. Nathan? Yes? I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth, because you are honest. You're honest, aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident. And that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. See? <laughs> Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no, they're nice. Look. Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god, struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. T'was a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. <coughs> there, there, you're being dramatic. No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Jesus. Nathan? How long was I out?